Hi, I'm Dr. Papia Bhattacharji. In this problem, we have this infinite series and we have to verify that this series will diverge. Now, recall that in this particular section, we actually have seen two different tests for series converges or diverges. And one is the nth term test and the other one is the geometric series which has its own test. The very first thing you should always do given a series is try to at least have an idea what type of series it is. Can you recognize the series? Well, look at this one. This is 5 times 5 half to the n. Doesn't it look like a geometric series? It does because it is a geometric series. So immediately you should start thinking, let's use that test and see if we can verify using the test for geometric series. So let's try that, okay? Notice that this series has the form of a geometric series and a geometric series looks like a r to the n, n zero to infinity, okay? And therefore, for our particular series, what does that mean? That means that a is 5 and r is, so the a is 5 because it's a times r to the n, right? And r is 5 half. Now what do we know about geometric series? When does it converge and when does it diverge? We know that it all depends on this r, the ratio, right? So what do we do? What is the test? You take the absolute value of r. Now r is 5 half, so this is absolute 5 half, which is just 5 half. Now what is 5 half? is greater than 1. And then that implies, what does that imply? If absolute r is greater than 1, then the geometric series diverges. So this implies that the series that's given to us, the geometric series, it diverges. So obviously this is a nice way of verifying that our series diverges. And remember, you did it because you recognize that this is a geometric series, right? Now, before I finish this problem, let's just check that other test that we also know. So say this is number one. The question is, can we verify the divergence of this series using the other one, which is nth term test? Now, nth term test, if you recall, can be applied to any series. It doesn't have to have a particular form. And what is the, the test says? If you have series a n, n equals what, from whatever, either 0 or 1 or whatever to infinity, it's an infinite series, then the test says you take the limit of this a n. And the limit, this is a sequence, so limit is always when n approaches to infinity, that particular limit. And if this limit is not zero, then we know that series diverges. Remember, nth term test is only a test for divergence, not for convergence. Okay, so let's consider our series. This is five times five half to the n. Okay. So what is a n? This entire thing is a n. So let's try this test. Let's take the limit of our a n, which is 5 times 5 half to the n, as n approaches to infinity. Okay, 5 is a constant. You can ignore it. You can take it outside the limit if you want. All we have to care about is this other expression, which has n in the exponent, right? So it's an exponential function. Now what do we know about exponential functions? Either they increase or decrease. Now which one is happening for this particular function? n is approaching to infinity, right? This, the exponent is getting bigger. But look at this particular number, 5 half. 5 half is greater than 1. And therefore, when you raise it to a large number, it will keep increasing. So what does that mean? That means this limit is going to infinity because it keeps increasing exponentially, right? And infinity means obviously it's not zero. And so this test can be applied. And a term test says 
whenever your limit is not zero, that implies series diverges. So, as you see in this particular example, we could have used either of these two tests to verify that the series diverges. So, and that happens most of the time, but there are other um, series where this doesn't happen, right? You have to recognize first what type of series it is and apply that particular test. Okay, so that completes this problem. Thank you.